We'll get the countdown from H1 Unlimited. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Mark five minutes. Five minute period underway for Centauro Incorporated. Unlimited 3A, Brad Luce. Bring him out of the pit. Here we go, Delta Rio track. Andrew Tate, he'll be the first one away from the dock here. Tate comes out first, then it's gonna be Dustin Eccles, the big surprise winner the last time out. Waiting for Jimmy Shane in the Miss Home Street. Do you want? This is gonna be an interesting start sequence because I talked with Andrew Tate, I spoke with Jimmy Shane, both of them shook their head and said, wow, our timing marks are way off because clearly they both jumped the start last time. Look for them to clean that up this time, Jeff Ayler. Here comes Eccles. Here comes Shane right behind him. It is a 2.72 mile track here in Detroit if you're just joining us along the shoreline and listening and watching at home through H1 Unlimited video provided by Jared and Tate Meyer. You can watch that at Facebook and YouTube. The preliminary heats, 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B, four laps. The winner take all final at 4.10 this afternoon will be five laps. Brad Luce, you explain it best. All three boats are up and running. When the drivers leave the pit area, when they come to the start finish line buoy before the clock strikes zero. Don't even bother with what he's doing, the 85 right here. Your lane is not assigned to you when you leave the pit area. They tried to finesse the boat and guide it toward lane one, the shortest way around during this milling period. Yeah, and we just saw Andrew Tate come around the rooster tail turn, see Jimmy Shane sitting in about lane two. And so Andrew gave it a little bit of juice, pulled up alongside Mr. Shane and just said, uh, I'll take lane one, at least for right now, thank you, at the three minute mark of our Heat 3A. Jeff got to give a little shout out here. I understand we are being broadcast now over at the Detroit Yacht Club. Detroit Yacht Clubbers, welcome to the Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers Hydrofest AP Cup. And a special shout over there. Too. Pick him up, so let me know where he's at. He's outside, got to reach tail back. Fans along the shoreline and watching online. The bright orange 440 bucket list racing. Dustin Eccles out of Sultan, Washington, halfway up the back chute. Next in line on the back chute at the 225 mark in the dominant white. Walled Lake, Michigan's Andrew Tate and U9 Delta Real Track and stalking Tate behind him and Home Street Blue and White. Miss Home Street. Jimmy Shane, Brad, we are two minutes and 10 seconds away. Would I Jimmy expect cut? them all to come around that turn. Would Jimmy cut? I thought maybe. I thought just maybe, but I think that's a movie saves for later in the day. Two minutes. Two minutes to the start of our heat. 3A. Tate and Shane met in 2A. Tate got to the inside. Shane was in two. And right now, Andrew looks like he would love to position that boat owned by Lorian Mike Jones out of Lake Taps, Washington on the inside lane. But Dustin Eccles will lead him up. He's well to the outside just past the Whittier, followed by Tate and then Shane and the Miss Home Street. We are 1.30, 1.30 away until the start. Santoro Incorporated, unlimited heat 3A on this hot, humid, muggy day in Detroit. You can see the humidity in the sky to the west, Detroit to the right, winds are Canada to the left, but the winds are down, and that's a great sign here for the rest of the afternoon at the Gold Cup. As we're five, four, three, two, one, mark. One minute period has come and gone. All three boats were in a planning attitude at one minute. Leading them up the back straight. Like hey, you're tail and a half back. In bucket list racing. Andrew Tate looks like... Might be trying to come inside. Look at your left mirror. No, Brad. Now Jimmy Shane angled toward the buoy row. Bring him up to the turn. One. Go to one right now. Left and toward the buoy row. So can his radio man and his spotter on the course. He can tell... Andrew, exactly what's going on behind him. Andrew right now looks like he is sitting in one. Jimmy's going to be in two. It's going to be Eccles on the far outside leading him up here. 
inside 25 seconds to the start. This is a good measuring point right here for Jimmy Shane. Can he drive around Andrew Tate if Tate's not tardy at the start the way he was last time? Coming up on 10 seconds. This is going to be a hot one, Jeff. Eccles is off the corner. Here comes Tate and Shane. Bring him home. We are three, two, one. Mark and Dustin Eccles nails the start on the outside. Tate and Shane tardy as we're racing in Santoro Incorporated Unlimited 3A. Eccles your leader, but the top two qualifiers to his inside appear to have enough momentum to get around the orange. Tate in lane one, Shane in two, Eccles in three. They get to the Bell Isle Bridge turn. Who gets there first? It's Andrew Tate, Walt, Michigan in the Delta Real Track. Jimmy Shane is on his hip in second. They come off the turn. It's the first time they've been hooked up for the weekend. They're deck to deck. Side by side, coming down to backstretch, halfway up. This is what we waited for. It is Shane on the outside, Tater on the inside. Tate's got him by a boat leg. This is unlimited hydroplane racing at its very best. They are dead even at the Yacht Club. Tate sets it up. Got to keep it on the water and in the lane. Shane holds it tight. Tate is through. It's taped by two boat like Jeff. Let's go, get out of here. Accelerate, buddy. Let's go. Fly it. Let's go. Let's get out. Leader. After lap number one, make it Andrew Tate by a boat length over Jimmy Shane and Miss Home Street. Dustin Eccles in third in bucket list racing. It's Tate, the local favorite from Wald Lake on the inside. Shane, the native of Howard to Race, Maryland, now residing in Covington, Washington on the outside. They get there first. Brad is like you say, you can take a blanket and cover both of them. They're at the apex. It's Tate. Here comes Sheen on the outside. They are deck to deck for Mary Hindley. The Delta Real Track shoots, the Home Street shoots. Look at that boat race. Doesn't get any better than this in H1 Unlimited Racing. I got some new fans up here. I just told them this is it. This is what we wait for. It is Tater. It is Shane. And it's taped by a couple of boat lengths. Now, he's got to leave room for Andrew. I'm sure he will. They hit that corner in a buck 90. And Tate holds his line. Dead even, Jeff, at the exit pit. Boy, Shane slid out and Tater got a great corner. And now Shane and Tate went inside the infield and came back out. Jimmy Shane, now your leader. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Advantage over Andrew Tate and Delta Real Track. Dustin Eccles in third. An exciting Centoro Incorporated. Unlimited 3A. We're past the halfway mark. Shane with that advantage. Get that thing on hook coming out of the corner. Yeah, I saw. I think Tate has sent the message now, Brad. Shane comfortably out in front. Tate will settle to get those 300. Eccles will come across to complete his second lap in third. Lap and a half to go, it's all home street blue. It is all the Miss Home Street, and you're right. Andrew Tate is gonna let him go. I think he made that decision up here last time. He came through the rooster tail, and the boat hooked a little bit to the left on him, and he actually went into the race course, as you called it. Then he had to turn to the right. Easy, 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 easy. Four plus. Nine slowed way down, buddy. Easy, easy. Down. Complete three. You get a white start the four. White flag is displayed. Three in the books and one more to go. Jimmy Shane now. Possible call for going off the race course. Dave for never inside a buoy. The rooster tail turn. He sees the white flag. Walled Lake, Michigan. Andrew Tate, one more lap to go in the second position. Dustin Eccles, your winner back in 2B in the third spot, working up the back straightaway in the bucket list racing. Jimmy Shane, three-time Gold Cup winner. 14 in Alberto, 15 in Alberto. Your defending champion, Brown, a half a lap to go for Jimmy Shane in front. Young man from Havana a Grace, Maryland, wants a big weekend. So far, so good. He would be the top qualifier. He won his first heat. He won his second heat. Looking like this one's going to come his way, too. Here comes Eccles through the up the corner. He will stay way wide. There's good water on the inside for Jimmy. Just got to get through this corner one more time. But to your point, Jeff Haler, the message was sent by Andrew Tate. He's got a hot boat. There he is right front. You can touch him, Jeff. Wow, he swings it way outside. Checkered flags waving. Here's your winner, a Santoro Incorporated Unlimited 3A. Jimmy Shane, Miss Home Street. Working through turn number two, Wall Lake, Michigan's Andrew Tate gives his fans a wave. Nice pickup. 
checkered flag out, second place for Andrew Tate in the Delta Real Track here in Santoro Incorporated Unlimited 3A. Dustin Eccles just coming off the exit pin of turn number one and third in the bucket list racing and Brad Luce, this is a huge 225 for the orange. Boy, any finish whatsoever in the fourth section, they're gonna be in that Gold Cup final. I think Brad stepped away for a moment to go down and get our winner of Unlimited 3A as Jimmy Shane is on his cool <laughs> and Dustin Eccles gave a wave. He walked the bucket list racing right in front of our faithful fans at the Detroit Yacht Club. Love those guys over there at the Yacht Club. And here comes Eccles. Checkered flag is out. Third place finish for Dustin Eccles. Bucket list racing. So write them down in pencil along the shoreline and at home. All turbine boats will go through tech inspection. Your winner, Jimmy Shane, Miss Homestreet.